Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose and wow, it has already been a month since I have been off of work because as you guys know, I am a teacher in New York City and I've just been living my best life, okay? I have been just relaxing, getting wisdom teeth taken out. There's always something going on. But I wanted to get on here and let you guys know, hey, how are you? Um, kind of give you an update with what's happening with me this summer. What am I teaching this year as I get ready and show you my summer makeup routine. Every year I like to get on here and show you guys what exactly I'm doing for the summer. And also every year I feel like it just gets easier and easier because as I get older, I'm currently 35, I just feel like I want to wear less and less makeup and it doesn't look as good as it used to. So I am going to show you guys what I do and also a quick catch up with me. And then hopefully I post some more videos every time I say I'm going to and then I kind of like just don't. So I'm not going to make any promises here. I'm not going to commit to anything because um, I don't want to be that person who doesn't follow through on their words. So first video up for the summer. We'll see what happens moving forward. I'm going to start off my makeup routine with this particular sunscreen. It is SPF 50. And that is the first thing that I have been applying, especially for the summer. I have not been putting on um, any moisturizer. I've just been using my sunscreen as my moisturizer because it gets really hot in New York and if you're from here you know that not only does it get hot but it gets so humid and it's so easy for your makeup to just easily slide off of your face so I apply my sunscreen everywhere we're gonna let that sit in and we're going to start working on our brows now I was sent by Merit Beauty their new brow products. So we have two brow products that I am going to feature in this video. So thank you to Merit for sending me these products. Um, first things first is their 1980 brow, which is meant to give you additional fibers, a little bit more of a bushy brow. This is my go-to and I would just do this on days where I just want a nice simple brow and then I will lock it in with a gel. This is an older product of theirs that they're now selling together as a duo, but I have had this already in the past. And then this is their newest product. So this is a pomade that is going to give a little bit more definition to your brows. It is not a standard brow pencil. It's important to know this is a pomade. So remember back in the day, the pot, and you would have to like stick your like angled brush inside and kind of draw the hairs. That is what this is supposed to be, but in a pencil or like a stick form. So keep that in mind. It is going to provide a little, a little bit more of like a heavier brow, hence why it's called the 1990 brow. And to start off with the 1980, because this is my favorite out of the two, I will admit. Um, I just prefer a brow like this, especially for the summertime or just easier days. So I have mine in the color dark brown. And I'm just going to start adding this so that I can start to define my brow. Give me, I have it on the five times, it's not the best. And just give me a little bit more of a chunkier brow. So hopefully you guys can already see the difference. And it will help keep your brows in place, kind of, you know, keep them up. But I will say for me, Personally, I still need to lock it in with a brow gel. This does keep them up, but I have very long hairs and very thick brow hairs, even though I don't have a lot. The hairs that I do have are quite thick, and I don't think that it keeps them up enough. So I do like to lock it in with a brow gel that Merit does not have, but there are so many brow gels out there that are available. That's that for step one and hopefully you guys can see it just adds again like a bushy brow which i love um a bushy brow i don't really like a brow that's too defined so now i'm gonna take the spoolie side and i'm going to brush them up kind of brush out a little bit of the 1980s just so that it's not too harsh tip of this is really really thin so I'm gonna roll it down because I don't want to mess it up it's very soft and first things first I'm gonna start with the outer portion of my brow 
where the arch is because I like for that to have the most hair, so to say. And then I'll come here. And I think even for me, I could have gone a shade lighter. This is the shade dark brown. And personally, I like when my eyebrows look just like a hair lighter than my actual hair. I think in the winter, this color would work best for me. But this is my natural hair color. And in the sun, it definitely lightens a lot to more of like a lighter brown. And so I do think that my brows with this particular color do look a little bit darker than my actual head hair. Or maybe the same, but I do think that it's just a tad too dark for me. Okay, so those are the brows. I'm going to kind of let the pomade kind of settle and dry down before I add in my gel to lock it in because it is a wet product, right? It's not a dry pencil, so you don't want to add something wet and gooey on top of this. You want to make sure that all of your brow products have dried down. So we're going to go straight into concealer. If you did want a foundation, which every day I have not been wearing foundation, this is the one I've been wearing, the L'Oreal Infallible, their Pro Glow, and I've been wearing it in the shade 205. But today I am going to skip foundation because I don't wear foundation every day and I'm going to go straight into my concealer. So I've actually been applying two different concealers in order to kind of get the look that I want. And so this first concealer is the Maybelline Eraser. The, I don't know, this concealer is super, super like old school, but I have it in the shade 140. And I'm going to use this under my eye as like a color corrector. So I'm going to make sure that I get in the inner corners and then around here, here, because I do have like a shadow from my mustache and then around my mouth. That's really it. I just want to make sure that the parts of my face that I do think are discolored are hidden and concealed. Go in with a big flat kabuki brush and just blend that out. I feel like you guys are a little far. I zoomed you in just a little bit. Hopefully that helps. So I blend this out with a kabuki brush. Really, really easy. The key to concealing your under eye circles without using foundation is you want to use a concealer that is very close to the color of your skin tone. So you don't want to use anything too light because what it's going to do is just make it look gray under your eyes. Like here, you're going to see that the concealer that I have chosen is very similar to my complexion, which is why it's able to cancel things out without having to use something that is too orange or too yellow or too pink. It's I'm just trying to match my complexion. And so that's why this works and you'll get a better payoff with a concealer if you do that versus putting foundation all over your face. I'm just trying to make this match everything else versus, you know, the other way around. So now what I'm going to do is go in with my bronzer and the bronzer that I have been using is my Merit Stick. Like, I love this bronzer. I have it in the shade Cien. I think it's the perfect lightweight bronzer. I also have the Rare Beauty bronzer, which I use a lot in the winter because um, I feel like the color match that I have is a little bit better for the winter. But I've been using this for the summer and I think that it, it, it does what I need, right? It gives me that lightweight, you can use as much of it as you want and it's not gonna look heavy. I'm gonna use it more of like a bronzer, put a little bit on my chin and then also on my nose and I'm gonna blend that out. All right, let's go in and blend. And I have a bit of a wonky setup here, which is why I am holding this mirror. I don't have a table that I can put this on. So I'm kind of doing everything with one hand here in hopes that it will work. Now I'm going to go in with my second concealer. 
And this is the concealer that I'm going to use to brighten my under eyes. And so I'm going to use the Kosas Concealer in the color, I think this is N4. Yeah, or 4N. My skin looks great already, but I do want just like a little extra something here. So as that sits in, let me talk you through some of the things that I have been going through. So this past year at work was great. Um, I had an amazing year, such a successful year, which makes me a little nervous for <laughs> the next year because um, if you guys have been following my journey at all at this new school, it's it's been very like on again, off again. And thankfully this year was like a very on year. I had so much success. My students, if you guys are watching, I had such a great group of students this year, which really elevated the experience. Um, great relationships and interactions with my admin. Like this was just a really solid year for me. Um, so it makes me nervous for like what next year is gonna be like. And I don't know, but you know, I have a month to really like stress about that. Um, I have a month before I really stressed about that. But this year was great. Um, the students were willing to be challenged, so hands-on when it came to helping out, so many strong leaders. Uh, it was just a great year for me. Um, so this year I'm teaching the same thing. I have four sections of sixth grade global and one section of ninth grade global. So if you guys don't know already, my school is a middle and high school together. So we share grades. So I have four, four classes for sixth grade and one class for ninth grade. Um, and that's what I taught last year. So I'm glad that I have the same thing again so that I can continue to hone in on my skills. And I'm using the Angie Hot Flashy, Hot and Flashy brush that was like super viral. Um, it is a great brush, but sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I do like to go in with a sponge even after if I feel like I haven't really gotten into like every line and crease. So we'll see. But right now I'm blending that out and if you notice I'm not going like completely under my eye I'm kind of like going under here like where my eye kind of has like that natural crease because I find that sometimes when I go directly up especially if I'm doing like a natural makeup look it just looks heavy so I'm just kind of following this and if any kind of goes up into that area then fine but I'm not like purposefully blending it in there okay so these are the three brushes the three blushes that I've had on rotation one it's the Maybelline cheeky been wearing the Maybelline cheeky I believe that this is like a berry color it's like berry something I'll make sure that I put it in the description this is my go-to I love this and then of course I always talk about the mirror blushes but I just love them this one in particular raspberry beret I wear all the time when I want to look like I've really been in the Sun and then when I want something a little bit more girly and something a little bit more like fresh then I will put on Stockholm so I'm actually gonna show you guys what I normally do if I wear Stockholm then I actually pair it with this L'Oreal true match blush in c34 so this this is like usually my combination if i want something like peachy and lightweight this is the combo that i will do um but for today which has really been my go-to i'm gonna do this very one and then also i have been obsessed with the essence blushes and this one is in berry cheek so i think they both have like some type of berry name and this is the combo that i'm gonna put together so let's put this on the only thing I don't like about this blush is that you have to like put it on your hand first and sometimes I don't want to get all like messy and that's kind of why I like the Merit ones because you can literally just swipe it on directly from there and it's never too much like it's lightweight enough but if I'm being completely transparent this is the color that I've been wearing most often so that's the color I'm going to show you so I'm going to take it rub it around I might need a little more and then we're gonna go directly in and apply I'm 
bring it up a little. So now I'm going to set my under eyes and I am going to be using the Huda Beauty powder in the color Peach Pie. I usually use Cupcake in the winter but I had to get a deeper tone because I felt like the pink was just like too much for me. So I got Peach Pie because it's more of again a peachy tint as opposed to a pink tint. Continue to blend this out. Just make sure. And then just go in with the powder. Follow that whole area. A little bit in the center. I'm going to set my entire face like even though all I have is the concealer and a little bit of the blush and bronzer I think that because I added the sunscreen my face is just naturally going to get oily and greasy and so I am going to powder the entire thing so I'm going to use this Sephora powder in the color 25 beige it's their micro smoothing powder it looks a little light but I feel like on the face it ends up evening out just use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to literally put this everywhere over my cheeks so that when I put my powder blush, everything all blends together. So I'm going to take my essence blush on a big fluffy blush brush going to apply this really high on my cheeks, get it a little bit here in the temple. And that's how I like to really just apply my brush. It looks so pretty. I'm going to do a little bit more because it is a fluffy brush. Again, it's harder to kind of like mess up and it's a mineralized blush, so it really does look really pretty. And again, this was in the color Berry Cheeks. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm going to use the YSL mascara. I'm going to apply it off camera just because I apply a lot of coats. FYI, although this is a great mascara, it is so hard to take off. Everybody says it. That's part of why I like it because I know that it's not going to flake off throughout the day. But keep in mind, it is very stubborn. I have lost a couple of lashes from this um, and it has a hefty price tag. So I don't know if I would actually recommend this unless you want something that's really going to stay put, even though it's not meant to be um, waterproof, which is interesting. But either way, just want you to know I'm going to apply it off camera. And I have been using this in the summer because it just doesn't go anywhere. So now finally, we're going to go to the lips. And I wanted to show you guys like my regular like go-to lip situation so i have been doing wherever walnut by makeup forever if i just want a gloss and a lip liner i use the wherever walnut and the naturium phyto lip balm in plum that is my combination if my hair is back because i hate the feeling of something glossy touching my hair absolutely not so if i have my hair up and i want like a glossy lip i will do this combo if it's down because i am gonna take out my hair clip for today i will then use this maybelline lip and it's like a matte lip in the color more mauve 5.99 so i'm gonna actually do this because this is the combo that i would normally put even though my hair is back it's not staying this way and i would use this instead so i'm gonna apply lip liner very messily and then I'll go over it with that lip. Okay, and I do feel like Wherever Walnut is like such a close color to my natural lip. Like there are days where I just will put this all on and then I will put something over. But I just feel like it's such a close match. With my finger because I want it to look messy you know you want the lip line there but not too much and again a gloss over this will look so pretty but let me just show you guys with an actual color that I have been wearing and if you follow me on IG 
my lips have been looking like a little bit more pink and that's because I've been wearing this. So I take this and I just like pat it. And it's like this mauve pink. And that's that. Like this is my lip combo. This is what I've been wearing every day. I did get a color analysis done. Maybe I could do a separate video on that. And this is why I've done more of the pinks. I feel like in the past I would do more like peaches and just like colors that were more nude. And when I look back at my videos, every time I did like a nude lip or something that was very, very bronzy, it completely washed me out. So this also is because of my color analysis that I can go with like deeper tones, more pinks, and that a pink actually looks a little bit more like my nude as opposed to if I wore a nude. Now, yes, I can lighten this up with a nude in the center, but I still need like the depth and the darkness. Um, I was actually color analyzed as a deep winter. So if you know anything about that stuff, I'm a deep winter um, but yeah so this is my summer everyday makeup no foundation took a little bit longer obviously every time we're filming it takes longer but this is my everyday makeup look and um, it was so easy to do minimal products and that's pretty much it so I am going to be posting giving you a little bit more teacher content I know some of you have already started teaching so those videos will be coming very very soon but if anything, if not, because who knows, I hope that you all have a great summer and that you have a great start to your year teaching and I will see you all in the next video.